right. It is 702, and I would like to declare the, the April 12, 2016 ZBA meeting open. Uh, I will. I call for a motion for that. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Intendants, uh, Caroline Paulson. Here. Phil Soube. Here. Leonard Loza. Here. Joe Dusso. Here. Ed Burke, I am here. Our attorney, Joe Moriello, is here as well. Uh, first item of business will be to review and approve the minutes from March 8th. We'll take a minute. from March 8th. Second. I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Yes. All right. We currently have two public hearings that are open. Uh, the first being Tran Hudson Management slash CVS. Uh, once again, uh, they are still in front of the planning board and they are seeking a continuation of the public hearing. So. I will entertain a motion that we keep the public hearing open. I so move. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. All right, moving right along. We have our public hearing for the De Maria property at Three Fieldstone Drive. Mr. De Maria, how are you? Good, how are you? Fantastic. Okay, would you like to come up and sure. join us, please? <clears throat> Mm -hmm. I will entertain a motion that we uh, reopen the public hearing, or is it a continuation? So moved. A continuation. a continuation of the public hearing. Uh, so moved. So moved by Lenny. A second. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 How are you everybody tonight? Good. Good to you. Um, as we guess, we left off last time. It was. A slight concern with the actual peak height of the building, which will be 12.75 feet, okay? I obtained from the town the map of the lot in which my surveyor has come out and verified all that, in which it's all close. The top copy is Roughly what I originally proposed, the fence line that we that was a concern mm -hmm. in that area where I took some measurements bows out onto Mr. Hufftailing's property slightly, making the distance that I had originally proposed of 13 feet makes it 11 feet because the fence is further on his property. The property line is actually closer to my house. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> by two feet from where I originally measured from, which was the existing fence. So I originally approached you, all of you, about putting the garage here with the 20 foot setback. I'm still asking to do that, using a 22 by 22 garage there. And then on the other hand, he has put a garage in place for me, being 21 feet from the property and 12.75 feet from the house. I'm still asking for option A. Uh, I really don't, and my wife doesn't want a garage in the driveway, just leaving us a straight run into the property, you know, for various other reasons. This is uh, your preference? That's the preference. Okay. That's where we applied for the variance for that. Right, right. Um, and this is option B, is that what you're saying? That's option B with basically no application for variance. Right. Because it's within the property setback limits. Um, so you were originally seeking a 13 foot variance? Right, it ends up being 11. Instead of 13, after verification of the fence line and the property line. It'll be how much, 11? It'll be 11. 
11 Actually, are we, am I saying that right? Am I, I'm, not, I'm not seeking 11 feet, I'm seeking, You're seeking nine eight. feet relief, correct? Well, this is, this is what I'm trying to understand, yeah. because you're re requesting a side yard setback of 13 feet. Right, and that would have been the distance from the corner of the garage to the fence. Right, so that... That was really supposed to be, a, I guess, a seven-foot relief? Well, that... We have to be... Now, doing, now how far is the garage from the line? 11 feet. 11 feet to the line. Right. And it was originally 13 feet to Originally, the, the way I laid it out, it was going to be 13 feet to the property line. So you're actually That's requesting a larger, greater yes. set. You're it, it's getting increased because that fence is further onto his property. Than the black, the solid black line mm -hmm. is the property line. The fence is the square line there. So, his, so the fence is two feet further on, on his, his property, property. Yes, at that location. Right. Okay. If you go to the back corner of the property, it's on my property, but uh, that's neither here nor there. We're talking about the area of the garage. So the, so the request is now for? A greater area. A, a larger distance. Okay. Uh, so the garage will be how far from the line if the variance is granted? 11 feet. So that's versus the 20 that is required. 20 is required. 20 is right. required. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. And then this option B doesn't require variance because it's 21. Okay, got it. <clears throat> but this, now you have to somehow, if this is the way it goes, you have to extend your driveway. Right? Now I'm just going to stone this in for now and like save up enough money and I'll pay for it. And, and you are dead set on having a 22 by 22 garage? In this area, yeah. I measured the cars again and to put two cars in there safely and opening the doors. Uh, when I had looked at this diagram initially, mm -hmm. I was concerned about the idea of putting your garage cockeyed because I thought it would make a this skewed one's line, but, but now, you know, it turns out that your, your driveway was actually more The, the drive, yeah. <laughs> and it, it's, yeah. yeah. So, so in a sense, if you did make your garage more cockeyed, it would line up with this, this driveway, is. which is You're cockeyed. 100% right, and doing this gives it a little bit better alignment. Is it landscaping fixes everything? <laughs> well, my concern is, is more about driver safety because no, you're, you're, right. you're talking you're right. about mobile vehicles and making mm -hmm. it easy for the a tired driver to come in and, and mm -hmm. park appropriately. Yep. This option is definitely more in line with coming straight in and backing out and turning around than this, but this is more square to the house, as you can see in that yeah. picture. Yeah, but this is not, this was misleading. This is actually not the way it is. So. So not the whole, the whole garage you're not seeking relief. No, it's a pizza slice. The, uh, it's the corner. Triangle. It's a triangle which comes out to maybe 100 square feet. Right, and you squared yeah. this off, off your house, yeah. or is it? Yeah. And, and what is the distance now? That distance will still stay at six feet as it's originally still. proposed. And based on the height of 12.6, what is required? Isn't it half the height? It's, yeah. No, it's, it's, it's 12 feet or the distance to the peak of the roof, whichever is greater, if you, it's, it's there. Yeah. Whichever is greater. It takes a little while, you gotta read it about six times, I think. All right, so you're still seeking a six foot variance. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, putting it here, we need six here and nine over here. Nine. Making it 11 from the proper. Nine and 11 is the 20. Yeah. But where you have it proposed here, you don't need any. I don't need anything. I, 
I see we have somebody join us in the audience. Are, are you here for oh, public comment? It's my neighbor. Oh, I was here last time. I was well, my neighbor. He lives. Yeah. yeah, I was, I was here. supporting Frank in that. Yeah. He, he lives on this side. As the public comment is open, do you have anything you want to add besides the no, last No, I was just, uh, just curious. Uh, sure. Okay. He lives here. Yeah, understood. So when, when I'm looking at this line that's drawn in That's here, the 20 foot So line. is it roughly 16 feet by 11? Uh, yeah, we, I guess we could. That's going to be encroaching? We could, we could call it that, yeah. Um, I don't, I don't want to call it that. Man. I'd like to have a better idea of, of what it is. Going to be 16 feet and 12. 16 and 12. And that's pretty much in a narrow line. So you're looking at what is that? It's about 100 and 192 square feet. You but half did a of square that, and then half, half of that, of that for a triangle. So about 91 square feet of the 22 by 22, so 91 square feet of the 500 square foot dwelling 20, is roughly 20 percent. Yeah, but that's not true though, because no. he's got a six foot setback from the house, which he's supposed to have 12. Mm -hmm. oh, so, so you got it. Okay. You got to think about the other side too. So. Right. He's, he's so he needs a variance for both sides. Mm -hmm. Right, so he there's two triangles really there. Right. So, so yeah, that 20 time, becomes 40. By the time you get triangle. cutting up the garage, there's yep. no garage left. It'd be a triangle over here of about 10 by 10, I guess. Mm -hmm. Curiosity, uh, Frank, what, what, what is the hardship of this versus this? There is none. Okay. This is basically an open-minded discussion at this right. point. Okay, okay. Any comments? Any questions? Just concerned about precedent. Mm -hmm. You know, does does this save everybody a lot of trouble? Probably. <coughs> does, does me putting a garage in here, something like this, make a little more sense? Yeah. Does this make no sense? Yeah, it makes no sense. This, you know, it's applying for variance to put it here or not here. I understand that if I get it, you know, you guys have to justify why. Right. Um, I, I guess, you know, from my standpoint, knowing that you need a garage, you know, a needs versus a wants, I mean, you could put a garage here, just not this size and not require a variance. Right. I could put a 10 by, right. 10 by 15 garage, but that's not going to, that's not going to serve That's not going to serve the purpose that I need. Right. You know. And, and by moving it back, there is another way feasible for you to still mm -hmm. get the garage and not a required variance. Mm -hmm. either, either way, I suspect the neighbor is going to see that garage. That neighbor is going to see the garage, no matter <laughs> which way you look no at it. Yeah. And I'm, be, I'm honest, They're he right. will see it. He's going to see it. Yeah. <laughs> right. He I will see it. He will backs. definitely see it less yeah. here than he will mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. And when I originally met the gentleman, this is the exact conversation I had with him. I'd like to put it, you know, in a logical place. I read through his letter a couple times. You know, he suggests throwing stuff under the deck and moving the garage closer to the end of the driveway. Mm -hmm. Th those are the words he used, end of driveway. Mm -hmm. That's the end of the driveway, unless you want to put it Right, understood. We tried to fit something in over here, it just ends up over that 20 foot mark and it just doesn't fit the property. Mm -hmm. um, this just becomes a little bit of a landscaping issue. You know, it gives me a little bit bigger garage, maybe even longer if I want to go 50, you know, mm -hmm. 50 feet deep. <laughs> then you can store your whole fleet there. <laughs> I'm sure your neighbor would love that. Thank you for coming from this property. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. Um, this is just a little bit of a decorative landscaping mm -hmm. issue. Though. 
Yeah. And the garage again is going to be a, a metal? It's going to be a metal garage, yes. And I have gotten a lot of paperwork from them. Uh, it will be, it'll have whatever color my wife chooses for the garage. The house will get sided to match and the shed will get painted to match the other mm -hmm. two. Um, I have no doubt that that's a true statement. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt in my mind either. Careful, the camera's on. Agree with the apple. <laughs> Guarantee the, uh, the drapes on the inside of the house are going to have to match the outside. <laughs> you guys are digging a hole. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to help everyone get out of this hole. All right. Uh, so the next step is for uh, close the public hearing. So I will entertain a motion that we close the public hearing. I second. So okay. I second. All right, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye, aye, aye. And, and now we're on the application review. Uh, for an area of variance, five questions that we ask, mm -hmm. like your response to these. Uh, question A, whether an undesirable change will be produced in the character of the neighborhood or a detriment to nearby properties will be created by the granting of the area of variance? Not at all. B, whether the benefits sought by the applicant can be achieved by some method feasible for the applicant to pursue other than an area variance? I've got two options, A or B. So we did our due diligence in trying to accommodate a secondary location if the first location is not approved. So that's... Yes or no answer. <laughs> yes, there is an uh, there is a proposal. there's an alternative option that that can be utilized. Right. Yeah. Is is the second option on the map that you produced tonight? All, does that also do away with the twelve foot variance? Yes. Does, yeah. does away with everything. Does away with everything. Does away with everything with both requests. Yeah. Right. right. Right, because, I mean, these questions actually should be asked twice, one for each variance, correct? You should address both variants. Right, well, we'll, we'll address them with the both, so the answer is yes. The answers yes are going to be the same, I guess. Right. Mm -hmm. Whether the requested area of variance is substantial. And I don't, in my mind, it's not a substantial area. It's a couple hundred square feet close in, in that no-build zone, if you want to call it that. I don't right. believe it to be. And that, that's a question. Know. I hate this question every time. But I grew up in a neighborhood where I'm, my neighbor's window was seven feet away. You know, I sure. look right through that house into the next one into the right. next one. But uh, on the one, <laughs> I feel through. Uh, on the first variance, I just need a telephone to call my. You're house. seeking nine foot relief from a twenty foot requirement. Yes. And on the second variance, you're six. seeking a six foot relief from a twelve, 12 foot re requirement. Yep. Whether the proposed variance will have an adverse effect or impact on the physical or environmental conditions in the neighborhood or district? No. No to both, correct? No to both. Whether the alleged difficulty was self-created, which consideration shall be relevant to the decision of the ZBA, but shall not necessarily preclude the granting of the area variance? Honest answer, yeah, I bought the house knowing that the basement garages were converted and I knew that someday I would have to ask permission to build a garage. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes to both. Okay. All right. Any comments, discussion? Like, uh, I'm like what you said, is, is this, what does this do to the neighborhood? Does this set a precedent with the two setbacks? When somebody else comes in two houses down and the guy wants a similar, you can't deny him. Either way, I'm oh, sorry, either way, I think you, you'll probably get a phone call from the 96-year-old family. You know, um, what are they going to say? I don't know. You you're, know. you're following the proper procedures. I, I approached this gentleman and thought everything was great till I got here that day. <laughs> yeah. um, well, even if, even if they hadn't sent the letter, this 
process most likely okay. went the same way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, you know, the neighbor is really, you know, not, not a large issue in this yeah, whole equation. You know, when you do look at it, you know, would we be able to take this square box and, and move it this way and move it out to this point and, and get it over? You know, I, I could probably swing it a little bit in if we were to keep it square with the house getting the point of the garage here, maybe over to here. You know, it's like how many drawings can you possibly mm -hmm. yeah. come up with? Well, uh, you you know, know. The, the, the real issue for me is the size of the garage that you're looking to do. Mm -hmm. that, that's really, I, I understand you the want The width is going to be the point. same. The width will stay the same. Understood. The depth, you know, if I can come over here and gain a, a little bit more room to put a workbench in front of the car or something, or play a toolbox that's not going to be crashed into, you know. Understood. I, 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 I almost think this works better for you. Yeah. To tell you the truth, yeah, because you look at look at the options you have of continuing if you wanted to, you know. But mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I really yeah. don't have anybody to disagree with. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I don't want anybody. I'd rather not see any phone calls or mm -hmm. anybody get hassled or, you know, old man throwing eggs at the side of my garage. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the options are endless, it's, right? It's, it's a good landscape. Yeah. And, and the other, uh, yes, I put the right bushes there already. I know the bushes are right yeah. here. They're over here. I want this five bushes there. <laughs> well, I wanted to get them away from there anyway. Yeah. Precedent is something that one should always be concerned about. On the other side of the coin, requests for variance kind of rise and fall on their own particular issues as each one will be different than the next one. The and circumstances. We will not have yeah. two that will be identical. For purposes of following precedent, this was this was the original proposal, and we had this card, mm -hmm. but we could, you know, move over here a little bit, making this. There's, I just don't want to be too close to the house with the car backing out. Right. You know but I mean? but if you do move that the way you're proposing, that doesn't give you the straight shot out. No, it doesn't. I think you were looking for. No. No, unless. Just you can do this all day long. You well, can you can take this and and kind of if you kept that six foot here, just taking the variance on the one side, you know you could. But, but you would want that where you're not going well, straight shot out your driveway. No, like I said, you could twist and turn this thing all day long. That's why I brought in two pre two presentations. Right, but you're asking us to vote. On, on either this one. specific yeah. one. Well, we, we don't have to vote on this right. one. This is the one we That's have to vote on. We, as, here as you have it about. proposed. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, the bigger the garage gets, the more expensive it gets for me. Do we yeah. have this plan on file as opposed to the previous plan? Well, uh, excuse me. Hold, hold that, on a second. that map should now be part of the record. So I have a couple. It will become part of the record. Not drawn like that. You're worried about backing up because pulling in is easy. Pulling in is easy. I mean, <coughs> you don't have a hell of a lot of room in your in your driveways. It is to be doing U-turns anyway. Mm -hmm. So I think regardless, you're going to be backing up. Backing up. No matter what you she do. She backs in. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Oh, she backs in, then yeah, she pulls then she out. Pulls straight out. I mean, it's you know, here and there. But this was the original. So to me, thought. that's no, no relief anyhow because he's not going to do it. So you got the one where he's already backing in, anyhow. Backing in or backing out? The only reason I brought it up going, is that, going was, back that was a discussion yeah. last month about backing the up. angle and coming mm -hmm. in. And, and, and she has a concern of safety yeah, and stuff I, like that. I, yeah. was, I was concerned. Well, let's, let's, get, let's get rid of that. that. But that's, not, that. that's not you know, appropriate. That's not accurate. So again, Kelly, you have a copy of this? Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Do you have a copy that we can? She can have this one. All right, perfect. Uh, the one on here does not have the proposed. Yeah. And it'll be laid out by my surveyor before I build it. Yeah. Just saying. You are you are a little bit off the line. You're a little bit more than 20 feet. Any rationale why? I didn't ask him. He's leaving enough. I believe he's leaving six inches more for the overhang of the roof of the garage. Got it. I thought on him. I didn't ask. That's fine. The only other additional thing that I would say about pressing. 
I'm not as, I wouldn't be as concerned about the side yard setback from a precedential situation, because again, each one hinges on their own. The separation from the house distance is one that I think the board should at least consider, because if there's later requests for variance and you're and someone wants to argue precedent, that one may be more, may come up more often than the side yard setback itself. Mm -hmm. Why in this case did you allow the, mm -hmm. the garage or the outbuilding to be that close to the house is its own separate issue that you may need to answer repeatedly mm -hmm. as opposed to what were the compelling reasons why you allowed it to be closer to the lawn. You know what I'm saying? That one could come up more often. Why did you allow the building that close to the house? Mm -hmm. I'm not trying well, to. Stacy made me take a ride and look at so many houses that were connected with just a piece of like overhang. And right. To a certain just, extent, sometimes that's how people you know, take and, care of that and, issue. And, and if things like this, different. if things like this cause too much havoc and stuff in town, we we'll go back here and go with. It was a great learning. It was, it was a great learning process. Is that from a, a, a safety hazard, emergency vehicle fire. issue, fire? Yeah, fire. I always That's thought that it had a, had to do with a fire issue, but I kind of I thought we kind of pushed that, but that away. But that time, I, yeah. I think maybe I was making something up with the fire hazard. <laughs> I've known a lot of people had fires in their garage. That was originally, I think the. The intent of it was to keep some separation between the main house and the building. Yeah. And I think the other part was if something did happen and there were a fire in the outbuilding and the outbuilding collapsed in yeah. the distance to the house, it wouldn't mm -hmm. reach the house mm -hmm. and therefore it maybe cause fire to jump yeah. down. Access on this, this property is not a problem because you got this whole side of the house. But. Then why if you connect it to a roof, doesn't that make it seem like there's more chance of fire to to spread <laughs> yeah. from a connected thing right. to the other. And that one I won't venture, I right. guess, on. But I think part of it also had to do with if something were to fall, then it brings it that much closer to the house in terms of fire protection. Okay. Or fire spread. If you will. Like I said, I'm not here to create anything. It's just there is an alternative option if it, if it you know, so needs to be. I think, you know, go through the criteria again. If if there are two, I guess those would be the ones, is that there it does seem to be, admittedly, another method to pursue that is feasible to the applicant without the variance, and the extent that it is kind of self-created, the request to put it in a particular location is the self-created part, and here it's admitted that it could go someplace mm -hmm. else. Yeah. For the applicant's point of view, if the if it were denied, it removes those phone calls you were talking about. Yeah. It removes the potential yeah. for any appeal. Yep. No, I'm, I'm following, following through what we originally mm -hmm. started with, which was, can we put it here? If not, my surveyor has now showed me this, and the more I stand out there and look at it, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> it's a garage. Any <laughs> final comments you'd like to make? Can I abstain? <laughs> well, just, this is just a comment. How about that? <laughs> no, I can't abstain. Well, you, yes, you can. You can <laughs> just looking for comments right now. Oh, that was a, okay. It's a rookie comment. Okay. Phil? Yeah, I, 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 I want to state clearly that I have total respect to how you approach this. I really do. Mm -hmm. um, and, I, and I think you recognize that there is a viable option. And um, I just really respect the way you approach this. You see my about a bridge that, 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 That's all I have to say, Joe. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, he doesn't mind plan B. Plan B doesn't hurt anybody. It doesn't put us into a vote on anything, you can just go ahead and get your building permit. And I don't, that's the last thing I want to do when I up. put anybody in a bad spot because I get put in them you all know, day long. It's not put us in a bad spot, I, I just, you know, it just, it's, 
I don't know, sometimes the right thing is a little more difficult, but it's the right thing, you know? I mean, if everything was easy in life, I mean, we wouldn't be here. <laughs> I guess I wouldn't have to still be working. <laughs> Thank you. When you figure that out. <laughs> no. You don't seem to be too upset about choice B. I'm not. No. Um, and my concern was, as I mentioned before, with regard to setting precedents um, for future people coming before us. Um, it's unfortunate that the size of the garage you need to accommodate your needs is larger than will fit in that spot. We blame my wife for that. Okay. <laughs> She's not here. Okay. She's the one who's got to open the door, not me. All right. <laughs> but those, those are my concerns. Okay, thanks. Hey, Kelly, if he withdrew the plans, does he get us 250 back? Okay. <laughs> no, that's just my comments. I, I echo a lot of what my fellow board members state. I appreciate yeah. the, what you've done. You've actually come up with an alternative that doesn't require a variance. And really addressing what Joe said, the precedence with the distance from the house, not mm -hmm. so much the side yard, it is important. We've. I think in the last year we had one or two applicants who came in front of us with the same issue closer to the house and <clears throat> those were sticking points back then and for me it's a sticking point today. All right. So uh, with that said, I Yeah, I just tried to explore every avenue out here was and, and, and I and we greatly appreciate the mm -hmm. fact that you've done that because there's been plenty of applicants where we've asked to do that and the next <laughs> meeting we came back with the same exact plan. So uh, your, your due diligence is appreciated. Joe, anything you want to add? Uh, no. And so at, at this moment we have two variances being applied for one seeking nine foot relief from 20 foot side yard setback and the other six foot relief from a 12 foot requirement from a principal structure i will entertain a motion to either approve those two variances or deny those two variances but you, i would suggest that you put it in the form of a yes or no to grant the variance well, Okay, I will entertain. Or uh, then go to number two. I will entertain a motion that we grant a variance, uh, one for nine foot seeking relief from 20 feet side yard setback, and the other approving a six foot relief from a 12 yard requirement from the principal structure. No motion. Seek your alternative. Okay, uh, would somebody like to propose an alternative motion or would you like me to do that? Since you started, we'll okay. let you continue. <laughs> I, I will entertain a motion that we deny the two variances uh, seeking relief, first being nine foot relief from a 20 yard side yard setback, as well as the six foot relief from the 12 foot requirement from the principal structure. I will second that. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. What did Pat say? I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> so we I'm have. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you not be able to make <laughs> <a> <laughs> Four in favor and one abstention, I believe. <laughs> Joe, anything else we need to do on this? No. Again, Mr. DeMarie, I really appreciate your, your time and no patience. And no problem. That's why I that came in prepared. And, and me being the homeowner, I don't want to have any issues with anybody. Or Even though he's 96, he's not going to do anything. Well, I'm pleased but that you're still going to be able to get the garage yeah. that you want. Um, from this point, I work with Stacy. Is that what I should do? Yes, sir. Or I will come down and see you tomorrow or the day after. And and move forward with this alternate plan. I think it's going to work. 
No, I, no so this, this will be our I'm not here to disagreeing with yeah. anybody. No, clearly. It's, again, yeah. very Thank much so appreciated. Much. I have no reason to. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so you'll give that copy to Kelly? Yeah, can I, can I take this with me, make a copy of it, yeah. and bring it to you? Yeah, just bring it to me um, so I can make it part of your file. Well, you want to hold it till tomorrow, and I'll come in and talk to you and Stacy. You can make a copy and bring it to me. Because I can have my surveyor do it. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. All right, moving on. Do we have any old business? Where is the uh, planning board with CBS? Do you know? Uh, Kelly? Um, the planning board has already at this point stopped doing the planning board meetings. Okay. Um, and the planning board has been doing the planning board meetings for a couple of years. Okay. Um, and the planning board has already at this point stopped reviewing it until they replenish their escrow account. Until they what? Replenish their escrow account. Oh. Something as simple as that. No money, no reason. No, yeah. <laughs> no, quite <laughs> Can you tell us the amount that is? Uh, I don't know off the top of my head. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's like. Any administrative issues? It's only 20 feet away. Our next meeting is May 10th. How's everybody look for May 10th? May 10th, yeah. I believe, is good. May 10th yeah. is good. I'm looking great. Yeah. All right, that's wonderful. Yeah. Um, I'm going to get back here. I want to be pouring concrete. That way. Right on. Okay. It's wonderful. All right. With that said, it is 7.38. I will entertain a motion that we adjourn our meeting. I'll move. ZBA Second. meeting. Second. All right.